Uh, and as Steve Jobs used to say, uh, and one more thing, uh, what we're going to talk about now, I think it some is actually extremely timely. Uh, the country faces actually a very significant, significant crisis. We all know that method recommended um, the country to move to level five in terms of the COVID uh, framework. But we think there's a potential opportunity to do something different. COVID is a network disease that thrives on the network. And by applying principles of network-centered warfare and using digital technology, we think there is an opportunity to fight COVID in a, a totally different way. Uh, so I'll shortly be introducing Robert Kirk from uh, the Rocky Group. Uh, but today, what we're going to do is uh, I'll have a rapid antigen test and a rapid antibody test performed on the, uh, in the next minute or so. And uh, Robert will be demonstrating a new approach to uh, COVID-19 digital passport. Um, this is a new technology developed by, by Rocky. We'd like you very much to be part of this experiment or to actually test the viability of this. So we encourage you to download the Health Passport Scanner if you go to the App Store and Google Play. So if you search on Health Passport Scanner, Health Passport Ireland, you'll be able to download the scanner. And uh, what we're hoping, these are some slide shots of the, the passport application, which I'm uh, currently enrolled in. Uh, the screen on the left shows the welcome screen. Uh, the screen on the on the middle actually shows my current status, which is uh, amber. It's because it's unknown. And associated with that on the right hand screen is a QR code. And you will all have the opportunity to scan my phone when I put it up to the screen after performing the test. Now these tests are truly uh, rapid. We will perform an antigen test, which is a 15 minute test. And we're delighted we have Liz Connolly here, who's a, an infection control nurse who will be performing the test. The rapid antibody test is, is, is 10 minutes. So what I'll be doing, we'll be uh, talking to Robert now. Uh, we'll have the test perform, and then we'll have Fernando uh, present, and then we'll return to me and, and Robert, and we'll find out what the results from my test are. So I'd encourage you to download the health passport uh, scanner. Um, so as a, you can just just go to you know, Google Play or the App Store. Um, so at this point, uh, I'm going to stop sharing my screen so you can see my. Um, uh, you can actually watch this test uh, happening, and I want to introduce um, uh, Robert Quirk uh, to talk about uh, you know the the health uh, the health uh, passport app. So, Robert, while I'm sorting my screen now, can you tell us a little yeah. bit about the vision yeah, for sure. Health Passport Ireland? So, Health Passport Ireland has been designed to do two things. Uh, so, one is to stop the continued spread of COVID 19 uh, by introducing increased screening measures. And number two is designed to uh, help protect our, our economy by helping to keep businesses open. So, this is a, a common platform uh, for all businesses to use across multiple industries. Uh, the system has been deployed for a number of weeks in Ireland. During that time, we've been performing rapid antigen tests at schools, nursing homes, uh, uh, businesses across the country. So we're going to just try and turn this off. So is the camera on at the moment, or is it there? I'm so afraid not, Martin. Unfortunately, you can only do that. Okay. So now um, we should be back to uh, the screen now. Great, so we can see that. Okay. So Martin's going to have a, a rapid antigen test, and this is the first ever live stream of a rapid antigen test in Ireland. So Liz, Liz is going to perform a naval swab. So this is a shallow naval swab, which is only two centimeters deep. And while that's has been uh, processed now, it's going to be put into an analyzer. Uh, and the results of that will be available in about, uh, in about uh, 15 minutes. So this here is a cartridge which the sample is put into. And I will show you the analyzer in just a moment. So now Mark's going to have uh, a very quick IgM antibody test. Okay, it will take about 10 minutes. So what, what happens now is that um, right now, this. Ireland is about to go into a level five lockdown. And that means that businesses, travel, um, is going to be completely shut down, which leads to a loss of jobs and a really hard impact on our economy. So using systems like the Health Passport Ireland and the Health Passport Scanner, 
uh, is going to absolutely help to, to reduce that. And it even means that instead of going to a level five, we can be brought to a, a, a you know either level two or level three by having increased screening. So we've been working with the leading pharmacy groups in Ireland and we brought all the parties to the table, which means that um, this is ready for a national deployment. We want to make sure that rapid testing is available to all people at all times for a very, very affordable price. And so we'll just put that right there. So what, what we're going to do is going to wait for the results to come in and Martin's health task force will be updated. So you can see Liz here what she's doing. This is taking the sample. Yeah. And that's been placed into the analyzer. We can send you a video of this, this later on. So as I said, um, this technology is currently being used all across Europe. It's getting people onto planes, and it's, it's uh, at the weekend it's been approved for use in all schools in Italy. So we have to take steps forward here in Ireland by combining rapid testing uh, for antigen. Uh, and also combining the mobile technology in the health passport system to enable our economy to continue. Well, thank you, Robert. So we're going to return in 15 minutes uh, to the test. We'll see the results and I'll be talking to Robert. Uh, how could this solution be potentially used in the current situation that Ireland finds itself? So I'm going to hand back to you, Ross, and you're going to introduce Fernando. Great. Thank you very much, Fernando, for a really uh, interesting and compelling talk. So we're coming back here to Dr. Stephen Boswell, and uh, I'm going to invite Robert Burke to tell us about what my test results are. I'm quite nervous. So here we see that the, the Martin has been tested for a rapid antigen test and also a rapid antibody test for IgM. So here, first of all, we can see Martin Curry's health passport account. So if I click on, if I look at Martin Curry's my COVID status. We can see that he's amber and he's unknown. Uh, by looking in here, we can see all of his previous test results. So this is his most recent test. And by looking down here, we can see all the previous tests he's done. So whether he's tested in Dublin or Spain or London or New York, it's all in here. And here we see where the vaccinations go. So when a vaccination becomes available in the future, they'll be right here. Unfortunately, we don't have one unless you want to take the Russian one. Um, so what we'll do is go back here. And the analyzer has just delivered the results. So we're going to have a look at this right now. This is the analyzer. It, it runs on a 14 hour um, battery. And if we have a look here, we can see that it's negative. So the control line is good, the control test is good, and it's a negative test. So congratulations on marking a negative for Thank you, Robert. Oh, about that. So in, in the real world scenario, what will happen now is we have a, the medical professional who's, who's, who's administered the test would update the uh, health passport account uh, and would, would save that. So once now, when I go back to check on Martin Curdy's status, I see he's now green, low risk. So that means he's been tested for COVID-19, and uh, the test has come back negative, and he's now a low risk individual uh, for spreading COVID-19. If for those of you who've downloaded the uh, Health Passport Scanner app, you now have the opportunity to scan that mobile, that QR code. I'll hold it here so you can do that. And what you what you get is the result of this one fast. So we can come back to this and visit that later. But that's how easy that works. So that latest test result is now saved and here in the platform. And, it, and this opens up an entire world of opportunity of how we can get our society back on track, our economy back on track, and how we can meet this virus head on. Uh, thank you very, very much, uh, Robert. So what we've demonstrated is the rapid antibody or antigen test. We also have the rapid uh, antibody test and maybe uh, uh, so this is this is my antibody test. Uh, hopefully you can see that. And um, also um, I I came negative on that. I don't have any uh, COVID-19 antibody. Uh, before we move to our next part of the agenda, I wanted to talk to Richard. Obviously the country uh, or the the, the 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 country is in a kind of a tremendously uh, uncertain state. Uh, we have a discussion ongoing about whether we move to uh, level five or not. What could we need to do with this platform and these uh, rapid tests to actually negate the need to move to level five and continue to be to live more normally in the society? Well, we can certainly, um, within the space of 14 days, uh, deploy this technology to every pharmacy in Ireland. People should be able to have the ability to screen uh, as necessary. So the ability to, to book a test very quickly at an affordable price 
uh, at a place that's suitable for them. But increased screening is actually the way to go, and we're, we're advocates for that. And so we, by doing so, we'll be able to reduce the impact of restrictions nationally. So instead of having a level five lockdown, uh, we might be able to keep it at level two or level three. And by utilizing increased screening rapidly combined with mobile technology. So, for example, if you're visiting your parents today, uh, you could easily have a 15 minute test to know that you're low risk of spreading the virus. Or indeed, uh, for sporting events or for gatherings, uh, for example, if there was a sporting event on Saturday, you could very easily be tested on Saturday morning uh, and know that you're low risk. Well, that's great, Robert. Well, thank you very much. Apologies for calling you Richard. No problem. Uh, I, 